Development Board uh, of uh, May 12, 2014. I've uh, got a couple items uh, in a short meeting because of uh, town meeting uh, tonight at 8 o'clock. So uh, the first order of business is the Environmental Design Review Hearing to reopen the special permit for 125 Broadway Eli Service Station. So we're going to open that hearing up uh, right now. <coughs> Uh, I'll ask the applicant to come on forward. Thanks. And maybe you, yeah, sure, sit on down and then if you can just introduce yourself. My, uh, name, is, my name is Eli Okundi. I'm all the way up 125 Broadway, Eli Service Station. Okay, great. And uh, maybe you can walk us through uh, your presentation. Okay, no, my asking presentation, to I'm asking to, uh, for decal uh, the building uh, above my garage doors and uh, the gas pumps and also the canopy about the gas pumps. Uh, let's start with the gas pump. I'm going to fast pass it over. And I think we've got some. Uh, what looks before and after okay. what mm -hmm. we have existing right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, we've got. We don't have before and after. This is before and That's the gas pump. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just make it nice and clean cut and clear it all down. And also, this is the, this is the canopy. Okay. And when I was looking at that, I was wondering, so this is out front, this one? This is this is up front, this is the side. So okay. Does that go over here? I, yeah. I'm here, right? Yeah, the logo will be up here. Okay. On the okay. side, and okay. Then on the side, that will finish up on the side. Mm -hmm. And only once, the logo? Or on, on each side? On each side. On each but side. But not on all four? No. Okay. No. That used to be a zip for uh, logos in there in the... Uh, the Decals is, was there before. I, I just painted over them. This is uh, this is, is the, the pictures recently. I just took it yesterday. Okay. So I, I, when I bought the place six years ago, it wasn't enough. You went uh, you went away from the sitcom. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, over. I just painted over it, and I walked myself through. Uh, after six years later, I decided to you know make something nice and make it look more presentable and cleaner. And Sitco had it on both ends. Oh yeah. 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 And um, I think I have uh, a picture for the building before and after. You get this one? Yep. This is, yeah, so this is what it uh, looks like. Uh, and this is, this is what's existing right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we have that one. Yeah, we have this one. Okay. Before and after. Also, the sign was there on the building is has been removed completely. Was one sign on uh, banners on the fence. This is also we get rid of that. Um, and, uh, so you're talking about these guys here? Oh yeah, those all gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna go spend all the kind of money to make it look nice and presentable and leave something. Let's make it like a real. Mm -hmm. The marble real is still there. Uh, yeah, that'll be gone. That'll be gone. Okay. Yeah. This one's still there. The, like, oh, uh, okay. okay, I tried to the spend it so these were on all gone, but this one's still there. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. It's not a, we don't sell so direct much, but we'll get rid of it. It's not a problem. And I think the last picture we have is the standalone. Um, so the standalone is also changing? No, no, it's not changing now. If you allow me, I would love to, but there's a neon and LED, but yeah, you can. Yeah, so exactly. I'm not gonna. Okay, so that's just staying as is. Then. Uh, as is. Okay. Just okay. The, the canopy, the pumps, and the building detailed above the garage, the garage in the day. Carol. Uh, I just want to be sure that um, the the you may not be aware of this, and the board may not be aware of this, but um, a lot of the some of the signage that's on was not presented or approved before you acquired the service station. So. So the Sitka stuff, you mean? According to the special permit, it doesn't appear that the um, canopy signage was ever approved or the gas pumps. Mm -hmm. mm. That's um, <clears throat> I have a special permit if, um, if you need it. 
So whatever you approve, we should make sure to memorialize this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. I'll go around, Christine. Okay. So I have always loved this sign. I think that's a big sign. Thank you. So I'm glad you're not changing that. No, no, the law is still. Yeah. That's why we got to. Yeah, I think that's a good sign. The the pumps. It looks like you're simplifying. <laughs> what's on the pumps, which is good, because the pumps are really busy, so you're making yes. it simpler. Correct. I, I, I don't know if a logo is usually allowed on the pumps, do we know? It doesn't really state it clearly in the zoning, in the bylaw. It talks about that... Uh, what's allowed what, by state law, I think, is what... Yeah, what you had put in, the type of gas, the price no, of gas, yeah. the name of the gas, the law, the law uh, I, I operate in the city of Somerville too, and the city of Somerville make us put the logos on the pump so mm -hmm. the customers know what brand this guy right. is mm. So that's why you have the Eli's on the pump? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I think one Eli's is enough. Now this is on both sides of the pump too, right? Correct, because we dispense the gasoline on both sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. The canopy, we just approved a gas station mm -hmm. where we allow the canopy. Is, this is not lit, right? The no. Canopy? no. Okay. It's right. not lit. So it's adding a, a border of red and it has your logo on both ends. Correct. And it's not, it's not any larger than what we just approved, I don't think. No. What, what gasoline station was that? That was the Shell. The shell that station. was the Shell. Yeah. yeah. Now the building, it says clearly 40, 40 uh, square feet. Do you know what size you have on the building right now? What what height this is and what length you have? Because I think we'd have to consider this whole thing a sign, right? Because of the color. Or can we just consider the letters and the logos? That's kind of a gray area too. Yeah, you, know, you could paint, right? Yeah, on the paint. That's why. That's, that's, that's why. Kind of. So the background I, is just paint. That's the way I envision it. Okay. Just because you're using a different material. So if the background's just paint, as far as comparing okay. it to what's there yeah, now. Yeah, what's there is right now is a paint, but uh, will be, it's a full It is a wrap. It it's may a be wrap. a wrap or a sign, but, but it, it, it functions a, little, a lot like paint. I mean, you could yeah. sort of achieve the same end by painting the side of the building. It might not be mm -hmm. as glossy, but, you know, yeah. that's, I don't know. I think it's one. Of, it's a gray area where you could say, is it part of the sign or is it I think it's it? tasteful. You know, yeah. it ties in with the pumps, it ties in with your with your large freestanding sign. I was going to object to the fence signs, but I saw they were down. So that's yeah. good, because that's oh, a lot of signage then. Um, there are signs on the buildings, but I think that's pretty typical also. Yeah. The oil yeah. change, the state yeah. inspection, yeah. the computer yeah. diagnostic yeah. sign. Thank you. Yeah, so I don't, if you're going to drop the LED display, yeah. which isn't allowed, allowed. Yeah, I think it's pretty much conforming with what is there now, and it's making it better, actually. I always try to do a yeah. clean job of work. I think you're doing a nice job doing that. Yeah. I get rid of all the U-Haul trucks. When I came in, there used to be trucks, U-Hauls everywhere. I get rid of all the signs. So. And I'm always doing them on the side. Okay. Yeah. I live down past you, so I go past your gas station you know. all the time. Yeah. I should stop. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of going past. <laughs> well, I'll echo a lot of what Christina said. I think that the new design on the pumps is cleaner uh, than what you had before. And I think that's a, a good step in the, in the right direction. Um, with respect to the name on the pump itself, I think in past special permits, if I remember correctly, on the Gulf Station at the corner of Summer Street, that has the name of the, of the gasoline yes. on the pump, yeah. and you're an in independent. You're not yeah. selling Gulf or Shell or no, right? I so represent what brand we sell. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, having Eli's service station on the on the gas pump, I think is is fine. Canopy seems to be fine. I am a little concerned about some of the, and maybe some of these are gone now. But in this picture, uh, existing conditions uh, for. Porter's auto sales and the various other. Those all gone on the glass. On your hand Those hand are all gone. Yeah. yeah. This, this is uh, this is a fresh chips. Okay. All those decals, uh, they're all gone. Okay. Mm, good. 
because that really does clean it up quite a bit. Plus, um, for a non-accessory signage, you have to be able, you have to say that you're selling all of those products on site. And my guess is, uh, you're probably uh, how much Porter Auto Sales actually happens on site. Uh, he only has two cars on the site. Okay. So just to sell. Uh, sometimes he doesn't have anything. Sometimes two cars. Mm -hmm. I know we allowed him to park two cars. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because I mean, in order for that sign to be legal, the business activity really has to be taking place. It, on it, the site. it is. It is a license <coughs> permit uh, okay. to sell cars on that on the site. Okay. Tom Porter so does use that. Okay. I do myself. I don't do myself. What do you do? Yeah. Oh, his sign is gone? Okay. And I gave him a lease to mm -hmm. uh, continue just so okay. use, use the space and just to sell two cars. Okay. Um, I had the same concern that Christine had about the uh, banners or the other signage that's on no, the fence, but those, those are gone. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's, that's good. Um, and I can kind of, I, I think I can live with the size of the, uh, of the, uh, wrap on the front of the building. Um, typically we only allow one state inspection notice sign and technically you have two I think because you've got one on the wall of the service station um, as well as underneath the uh, gas price uh, on the pylon. So um, I'm trying to think if that, it's not really a wayfinding sign where you, uh, it isn't. So yeah. Well, it's, it's directing people to where, which bay they need to go to for the inspections. Possibly. The one in the building? Yeah. It would be a little large for a wayfinding sign, but still. Well, I mean, wayfinding, well. I guess I'm, I'm sympathetic just because it has the hours there. It's yeah, not all it the does, time. and it has the hours. Oh, you're looking at the station hours sign. are different from yeah. your regular hours. Correct, we have to source those. Yeah, yeah they have to post those. Okay, so. okay. That, that makes sense. And this one that's underneath doesn't have the hours and everything? No, this is, uh, we have to post it on the sign outside. So, so you have to post both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he's More between a rock and a hard place. We, we, I got it. I got it. Okay, that's really the only questions I have. I think it's good. I think it's nice and consistent. It ties the building together. It really improves the look there. But any concerns I had have already been addressed. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I, I think I would also mention, can I see that picture for a second? So, for me too, I actually think that the wraps will be nicer and cleaner in the end and probably wear better than, you know, people not paint. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, mm -hmm. um, so that's why I, I, I'm, I'm okay with it as well. So. Is that wrap applied to metal then? And then the metal's put up? Um, yeah, they're going to scrape all the wraps around the canopy. Mm -hmm. So when they come up with the, the wraps, will be nice and smooth. And but on the building, that's not a wrap then? That's, uh, that's it is tank. a wrap, yeah. It and is? Now a wood frame. Mm -hmm. So they're going to bring the aluminum panels okay. the flat, and they're going to put the wrap on the aluminum. So it doesn't peel out, it doesn't come out. It will stick better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anything else from the board? What's the lifetime of, of the wrap like that? How many years will it last before it needs to be replaced? Maybe the same in about 10 years. Okay. So, so don't want to wear out and peel like the paint. Yeah. Better than paint, paint you're going to keep, keep painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carol, before I open it up, do you have anything? No, but I would just like for the record, could you spell two things? Would you mind spelling your last name? Last please? name? Uh, e L K H A. Or you ally, I'll go. Okay. And would you consider leaving the photographs with me so that I can duplicate them and then return them to you? Those right here? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Because we need to um, record what we looked at. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Thank you. That's all. I have them on my phone, so I don't need them. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Pretty good. Thanks. I want CBS and develop them. Yeah. <laughs> It's the only time you ever get pictures developed these days, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so now I'm going to open it up for public comment. <coughs> yes? Uh, back to Mr. Chairman, Chris Loretti, 56 Adams Street, um, near Broadway. 
Um, I guess in general, I don't have uh, a problem with the sign. Just a, a couple things to note, though. I think you generally don't see signs on gasoline um, pump canopies in town uh, for a couple reasons. One, the bylaw doesn't specifically allow them anymore that I can see. And I think it was the policy of one of the uh, former planning directors to discourage them um, going back a number of years. So while there may be some stations that have them, they may have been added over the years, generally you don't see them. Um, and if there's anything in this that I object to, it is the, the sign on the canopy. Uh, I think as the planning director mentioned, they hadn't previously been permitted at this gas station. Um, and I think that's consistent with the absence of the provision for them in the bylaw and with the, the policy of the planning, former planning director. Um, but I think the other reason I would argue against them is I'd, I'd ask you to consider the, the location of this site and where those, those signs would be. And you know, as you drive down Broadway, the freestanding sign is very prominent. It's not like you can't tell that this is Eli's service station, whether you're coming from the east or from the, from the west. And it seems to me that adding that additional you know, signage on the on the canopy is, it doesn't really serve any purpose except to get the brand out there. And we've been through this before, the town's been through it before at various um, service stations. And the uh, Gulf Station on Summer Street comes to mind where they seem to want to want to plaster the name of the gasoline brand everywhere. Um, so given also that this is also largely a residential district, the other side of Broadway is all residential. You can see an apartment building in the background of the pictures. Um, I think it's more appropriate to leave off the signage on the canopy as it as it has been recently, and I think as it has been in most cases. Um, and in terms of the other signage, you know, I think that's appropriate. I would ask um, to be sure that on the gas pumps themselves, it only has the uh, Eli service station once on each side, unlike the current pumps where it has it up high and up low. But I, I think, believe that's the plan anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that, that pretty much covers my comments. I, I, I appreciate that the bylaw does allow you to exceed the number of allowed signs. Um, I would note that before you do that, um, the redevelopment board is supposed to have some written memo or guidance from the planning department to that effect. And I'm not sure whether you have that yet or not. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions for the, from the board or discussion? Um, I know we just did the canopy over at uh, the Shell Station, so we um, did. Yeah, was which was actually lit as well. So from my perspective, I don't find this to be um, too far too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it is on the side, so it's not facing the residents across the street. No, it's What's face, on each side it's of facing, it? It's facing the Broadway. On if you travel on Broadway mm -hmm. down or up, you see it on the on the side. And what's on this side of you? This side it's is on a apartments. On the side. On this side. What's on the canopy is going to be? No, what's the the business or the residential? Oh, it's a closed side? diner. It's a. That's the diner. It's a that's vacant building. Oh, that's a Broadway diner. Okay. Yeah, so this is actually businesses on yeah, this side. Yes, all that strip is all businesses. It's and then not, this is not the residential. housing. Mm -hmm. Right, this is the apartments, the housing. Part of Arlington Housing, I think. I think so. I think so. Yeah. I know it's apartments. I can't remember if it's. No, I don't think this is an apartment village. housing. I think this is a private. This one's a private. Oh, okay. Okay. That is a private, yes. It's right before the Thompson yes, School. Yes, they do business with us, and they, uh, they come purchase all the gasoline and uh, maintenance trucks. Oh, no, the Thompson us. School's down. Oh, they're actually back in Dallas. The one thing that, you know, I, I think it's worth noting about the canopy wrap is that the logo is actually a very small, yes. uh, you know, sort of little part of it. Yeah. So I don't really see this as rising to the level of another, you know, Mm -hmm. Exceeding the number of signs allowed, it, it's it, true. It's a little bit of branding, but it, yeah. it, you know, the main thing I think it, it, that you're getting is the color scheme of the, of the canopy. So, having th this seems consistent with what we did with Shell. You know, we're sort of tucked in the corner. Um, and, and I wonder if it wouldn't work better though, if because you are going to have Eli's Eli's. Yep. If it would work better if Eli's were down here, or if Eli's was on the front. And the, well, the back, no, the back, the back you're not going to get very purpose. many. Because you are going to have a lot of... Yeah. Eli's very close together, and it's going to be the same yeah. thing on the other side. You'll have it right there. Yeah, same as down at usually this on the canopy uh, on every gas station I owned before and uh, every gas station I've seen. Yeah. 
in the logo they will yeah. find like they will leave it close to the to the street to the street the yeah. motors going going by and back and forth they can more visibility yeah and you have it's trees the same on as the, the shell side, station yeah. is to the street mm -hmm. water than deep inside to the building mm -hmm. It is consistent with what we just approved. And, and I don't think it exceeds the number, per se. And it's a little different than your sign. It's darker when you look at the two together because the background's dark versus yep. light. Yeah. Right. Yep. So it is going to look, see what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's going to look yeah, a little different. Yeah, because it's got the red. Yeah. I don't object to it. Thank you. It's a good comment, but I don't object to it. Yeah. Right. Agreement that it doesn't exceed. So. Okay. Um, so we're we're just to be clear, we're looking to approve uh, the new signage has shown for the gas pump. Correct. The new signage has shown for the canopy, and the new signage has shown for the wrap on the facade of the building. And. We're specifically not approving right, this one. the LED, LED pricing, LED. and pricing is good. it's the uh, approval is conditioned upon the signage along the fence continuing to be removed, Absolutely. as well as the decals on the and windows. the decals on the windows. That's the, those are being removed. Okay. Right, we're just going to reflect it in the yeah, in, right. in the, uh, the actual yeah. code permit. Okay. Could you repeat, um, you said signage as presented for building facade wrap, gasoline pump standing sign. Do you want me to put that into the form of a motion at this point? Canopy. I was just and the canopy was the other one. Yeah. The canopy wrap. And specifically not the LED. Yeah. And not the fence sign and not the decals. Well, yeah, conditioned upon there being no decals. Well, I guess they've been sense. removed at this point, but condition upon them not reappearing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> condition upon them. Window decal and fence yeah. signs. Yeah. And the auto sales. And the order auto sales. Yeah. Supreme Court. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So if Carol got on I, that. I, I, whatever it is I just said, I'm gonna make I'm gonna so move. Second. <laughs> Carol, let me know when you're ready. Okay, go ahead. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice, Thank you. nice cleaning it up. Thank you. Yeah. Good work. Appreciate it. Okay. Good night. All right. Good, good night. night. Take care. Good night. Good night. When I first went past this gas station, I thought it was a diner. It's, it's, so retro. Retro. Yeah. it's so retro. Yeah, really yeah. Like yeah. It. yeah it's very nice. It's, <laughs> well, it's, like it's my yeah. favorite gas station sign, actually. Did you buy your gas there? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Well, you uh, pass it you know, five times a day. Yeah. Really. All right, we're ahead of schedule, which is always a nice thing. Uh, and so, next on the agenda, uh, uh, do I need to close the hearing, I guess? Or do I do that? Or what's the official way of doing this? Do I close the hearing? You know, I don't know if I ever officially would. Well, I, yes. Yes. You should. Okay. You've already so, acted, so, motion to close the hearing. Correct or no? Can I just do it? Well, I think that you can. You can just close. Okay. It. Hereby close the hearing of the environmental design review uh, of 125 Broadway, the reopening of the special permit. Moving on to the next order of business is the Arlington 360 update. And Jake, you actually got your name in the uh, the agenda, which I don't know whether. <laughs> Is that legal? I'd be, I'd be excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably do, but, uh, sure. It's in there regardless. So. Okay. Uh, well, thank you. Um, we've been working furiously to wrap up uh, a lot of the details that, uh, on, on our conditions of approval. We're making some good progress. Um, uh, today, we saw that the bus stop has been completed. Oh, really? Um, the um, sidewalk was poured today, uh, the last little section where the uh, marketing trailer was for uh, Brayview. Um, so that, that condition is um, now satisfied. We've been working with um, the land trust and the CONCOM on um, sort of adjusting an integrated plan between of the utility corridor um, going up from that, mm -hmm. that location up to uh, Brayview's where um, uh, ProCon owned 
had to do some restoration and some landscaping for shelter, and then we had some um, additional erosion control uh, components that we wanted to put together. So we added sort of a, we share the same civil engineer, so we did a, a, a civil plan that was essentially the same plan with some slight modifications for some drainage um, uh, that we think is uh, can be done. So that is now uh, done and shaped. There's a little bit of cleanup tomorrow, but for the most part, um, that's in with the additional erosion control uh, pieces too. So uh, what's left is to do some um, hydro seeding so that the seed can hold and um, hopefully take and, and stabilize the slopes in that area. So And the tree planting. And then the tree planting and the landscape plan that Shelter has for the restoration of the marketing center will then happen uh, now that the grading is done. So um, we're getting there on those, on those fronts. Um, We've done a pretty extensive cleanup of the woods and the open space with trash and debris that had been buried by the snow and blown onto the site over the winter. Um, that's now happened. Um, the seeding has started to take hold uh, throughout the project. Uh, there's still a couple of areas where there's still some erosion that needs to be um, re loamed and seeded. Um, I believe the um, landscapers are going to be on site tomorrow to start addressing uh, those, those components. Um, we still have, oh, um, on the street, the improvements to the streets, um, the uh, Siemens has been contracted and has done the loop detectors at the bottom of Summer Street, so it was tough to get on their schedule to get that in, but that's been done. They've been given all of the street optimization, the street light intersection optimization information that we've submitted. Um, they have that. Um, I met with the town engineer this morning, uh, today, and he said that Siemens have had to add a chip to the sequence so that it had a timer to it so that it could switch in and out of different gears based on peak demand at different times to change it. So that's being added and will be loaded up on until tomorrow. So um, those components are coming together. Um, we have a problem that was brought to our attention and we've noticed it now. Um, where um, in the Lower Vista Park, um, steep slopes that go down. That was an area that was infested with a lot of um, um, weed plants, invasive weeds. And um, in the fall, we had cleared those out to kind of get them so that we could even get down to the slope. And, um, and then we stockpiled those per our management agreement um, at the bottom and along the slope. And um, but recently, um, <coughs> the root structure for the um, Japanese um, not weed. Not weed um, has been sprouting all over the place. It's a problem. Um, we had, um, I met on site today with um, uh, a certified um, vendor that can treat not weed. And, um, he's talking about doing a, a, a multi year program um, where. Is that groundscapes? Groundscapes. Okay, they're the same guys who did the mulch. Blanket. Yes, and there, at some point there were some questions about whether the mulch had brought the knotweed in, but he confirmed today that he thought that it was already, the root structure was already, I guess the roots for those extend 25 to 50 feet underground, so it's very difficult um, to get rid of. And he said basically, if you kill it, you need to keep it in place because if you spread, if you pull it around, it's the seed spread all over the place and it just grows like crazy. Every part of that plant. If you chop it up, every part grows again. Yeah, it's like a, it's like it's an like alien the monster. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like an alien. Yeah, an alien. Okay. So, um, so he said that the best way to do it is to get on a program where you let it grow until about June, then you cut it down, and then you come back in the fall and you um, and you treat it, treat the stocks. And so he's giving us a proposal to do that. He said um, it's the most effective thing to do, and it's also the most cost-effective way of managing it. So. Um, he's going to give us a program that'll be um, for not just the Japanese knotweed, but he, he, you know, he saw some bittersweet and some um, mm. honeysuckle and some other uh, things okay. that are much easier to deal with, but should be done kind of comprehensively. So, um, so we met with the on-site manager um, uh, for, for Jeff from the apartment group and sort of integrating that into her management plan. So she's been kind of running parallel with that. Um, we also have the um, update to the um, forest management plan that is due now that the CR has been done and we're transitioning from the construction phase into more of the operation phase. And um, that is, I talked to uh, George Ackerson who did the forest management plan. I talked to him today. We're meeting on the 30th um, to 
um, have him do his, his inspe you know, a tour, and then he's going to give us a proposal for doing the, the update to the plan itself. And I think it's a good time to do it because um, you will also see what's happening with the knotweed, and, and we'll have that program that we can consider for his ev evaluation for matching up with the forest management plan. And um, it's a natural point as we transition from construction into operations for you know these things to kind of adjust and, and maintain some consistency um, with it. So. Again, uh, Jefferson Apartment Group and the manager there is also uh, kind of running parallel with that as we, um, it will become her responsibility on a day-to-day -day basis for managing that and making sure that it's in the operation budget and things like that. So uh, we're making some progress there. We expect that, you know, the report will be coming shortly um, from George. Um, it does sound like I'm busy, um, so I'm not in the turnaround time on the actual report itself. Um, uh, I, I hope that's a concern, so we're, we're trying to address that uh, with him when we meet. Um, but I don't know exactly what his schedule is. It was difficult to get him out to the site, but we're going to do that on the 30th. And others are welcome to join if they would like to join. Um, so, um, the other updates, um, the thermal taping um, of the roads. Um, those roads are scheduled. There were notices went out today. The town manager, I think, approved the nighttime operation. It was told that we had to do the police detail at night. Um, that's set up for tomorrow evening. Um, so um, notices were distributed to the abutters um, this afternoon. And um, weather pending. Hopefully there's no rain. Um, that's supposed to happen. But I, the, long, the, the forecast looked good for it. Um, so I'm told as long as it doesn't dip below freezing, they'll go ahead and do that, even though it's supposed to go down. 40s. At night, tomorrow night. 50s. Yeah, it's hard to believe. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just not like to Trying to get the air conditioning fired up again today. Um, let's see, what else can I, am I missing here? How about the um, checks for the different uh, high school? Those have been made. delivered to the land trust. They have them. Both, both checks have been made. Yeah, yeah, so in terms of the conditions of approval, I think the outstanding items um, really are getting the thermal taping uh, done. And um, there's an ongoing um, erosion control that's really part of our management contract for the CRs. So it's not really tied to, to the certificate of occupancy. The building inspector realizes that um, most, if not all, of the um, plantings have been installed. And yes, there are some that need to be replaced, and, um, but those are in process and not a building permit issue, according to him. So just go over the bus stop for me, uh, just because I think that's a little earlier than what was expected. Maybe I, I always remember June 15th as being a date on that. Well, that was so the outside. That was the outside. For so the MBTA to start up their service, I think, in, um, by the 30th of June. So have you completed all parts of the bus stop then? Yeah. The, the point? Okay. Yep, yep. There's a small retaining wall. Uh, the concrete is from board. It's set. Um, so it's ready for the MBTA to put the little stop sign um, on it. And it's up. You know, and ready to go? Yeah, it's ready to go. Okay. Uh, so that's good. So we're a little out of schedule, but... I look at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a big milestone. I mean, that was coordination of that was crazy. But we got it through and we will notify the MBTA the next year. Okay. Are there going to be any changes to landscape around that? We moved the, the, the tree as discussed, and so that was saved. And um, okay. no, there's not much okay. else around it. Yeah. There's okay. a, there's a little retaining wall that actually is kind of a nice, there's a cap on it, so it actually can serve as a bench for people who want to sit on the wall um, in the corner. So, uh, other than that, I think it'll be very functional and a good location. And um, we had a snack, a meeting with snack, and they were um, much encouraged that that was our, that was in and they all thought that was a good spot for everybody to access. So, um, so that's good. Um, is the building inspector on board with, now with everything that's going on with the knotweed and the brush? Uh, yes, I met with him. This, I saw him this afternoon. Um, he, oh, that was the other thing from Groundscapes, has um, confirmed strongly that uh, not to move the, the trees that were in the trimmings that had been happening, that that's actually the best erosion control that you can have. It's the most natural. It's consistent with projects that they've just completed in the Blue Hills Reservation in, in Milton, um, as well as um, some work in, at Wellesley College. Um, he's going to give me some documentation, but it's really best practices. He says it doesn't look the greatest, um, but it really restores to the natural. And what it does is it helps to stabilize the slope. And as the um, as the um, 
the, the treatment of the invasives. The invasives are helping in the sense that the root systems are stabilizing the slope. Mm -hmm. So um, as those are removed, it sort of helps transition the ecology um, in a better way. So um, there is, there's a couple areas that the building inspector pointed out that he wanted to have cleaned up just from a sort of a safety perspective, um, and so we're addressing those with him. But, um, and all the trash has been removed. Yeah, all the, yeah. All the I saw an email trash, about yeah. some beams sticking out of the slope. Yeah, it was one of the old um, I-beams that held the guardrail. Uh, there was one that was missed, and it's sticking up, so we're going to remove that. Oh, so you should, there is one to remove, so. so. <laughs> Get it off the ground. Okay. So very uh, secure. Secure right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, other than that, there are some things um, that are in the riprap slope. However, it doesn't really make sense to remove them because th they are contributing to the structural integrity of the slope. So, um, and they're not in a traffic area for the park use itself. So we think we're we're okay there. But we'll confirm that with the building. What kind of things are in the riprap slope? Um, no, I'm curious. Just like other uh, steel. Beams that are laying down and you know kind of embedded with some rip wrap over them and it's not a high traffic area like I said. Um, the other thing is is that the slope, the, the edge condition, the sort of shoulder of the slopes in that area has treated with the bark mulch application um, that Groundscapes had actually installed and that's all been seeded and you can just start to see the peach fuzz of, of that starting to take hold. So hopefully that, that happens and it, um, as you know in that area there's no irrigation so it's important to have that growth at this time, and that's another reason why we didn't want to be pulling stuff out of the, um, uh, the, the sloped area, um, because we'd be pulling it over the area that we just seeded, and we'd like to that stabilized too. So from all these perspectives, I think the plan is, uh, is jolly, and everybody's understanding you know, what it is. And we've been trying to educate people about it, because it does look a little bit messy, I mean, from the casual observer. Um, but there are these other embedded issues, so we just want to make yeah. sure that and natives yeah. are going to grow up throw, through it, yeah. so as soon as stuff starts to leak out, it won't be quite as visible. Right, yet. right, right. So it's one of those transition, transition things. Um, then um, shelter is making quite a bit of progress on their uh, on their side. The landscaping from the Sun Road is really starting to kind of have a, a finished appearance. Um, I was by there today. It looks like they're doing a lot of the rework that they've talked to you about. It looks like that that's starting to come to a conclusion. I'm not sure exactly where they are on the electrical points, but from a casual observer, it's really starting to become sort of finished look and much improved. Um, we've also been able to do the um, the cleanup, spring cleanup, is <coughs> happening. And those big roads have been swept. And there's sort of an army of people that the blitz creek of cleanup activity. That's um, looking a lot better. Um, How about the lights? That there were some complaints on the lights and the request for shield. Yeah, so Everybody's that's right been here. more of shelters questions um, because we put the road the road lights in. There was some requests for additional shielding um, that we did. We sort of got everybody stabilized, and then shelters um, own lights. You know, a little bit later, were coming online, and then the lights from their building. So. There has been some discourse with the neighbors about that. They're direct abutters. Um, and at the snack group, there was a request to look at the, the lighting plan to make sure that there was consistency with what was installed. I understand from Shelter that they've had their consultants verify that the photometric plan has been followed and all of the light pictures are consistent with the plan and they meet dark sky requirements and everything that's in their permit. But, um, but I haven't kind of gone through that in detail and it really ties more to their special permit and then mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. we're trying to, you know, have a have a process that um, has them managing their special permit. But, um, but so it wasn't the road them. lights that were questioned, it was well, there the were, so, lights? So some of the mitigation for the lights was to do additional screening on the road lights and um, so shelter, actually the building inspector was requiring additional shades for shelter to put on our lights, and we've given them permission to do that and given them the contact information of where to get the shields. So um, okay. I know that temporary ones were done. It was my understanding that those were deemed to be uh, adequate for what they were trying to accomplish. Um, and um, I know that they had a requirement to put the permanent shades on, not just the temporary ones, just leave, leave them in place. So it's my understanding that that's all in the process. I do know those shades are just for some reason, it's very difficult to actually get physically, you know, shifts to you. But um, it's more of a procurement issue, I think. 
But those were only on some of the lights, if I recall right, because you had, I mean, obviously for uh, safety yeah. uh, point of view, yeah. you yeah. want to have well, that's a concern light where you need for everybody it. And, yeah. and from a casual observer. You know, the, the amended lighting plan looks to be okay. Um, I think probably at the end of the day, some engineers who have stamped the drawings will probably want to, you know, take a peek and look at it and make sure that it makes sense. That and has the, the, have the neighbors who were affected before reacted to the new plan with the shields? And, and I thought that they had said that the additional shields were okay, but I haven't been directly managing okay. for that. Um, um, I know that there's some questions that they want to know that it's consistent with the photometric plan that was permitted. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I know that Shelter thinks that it is. Okay. Um, but I don't have their plan, so it's hard to kind of evaluate that. Yep. Um, and we think it really ties to more Shelter's you know, special permit. But the building itself is starting to look you know, much more finished. And, mm -hmm. um, and the landscaping, I think, is looking very attractive. So the I think they have some a little bit along yeah, the road. What's that? The vent pipe is connected to match the building. Yeah. You can still see it, but it's better. <laughs> it's a little bit better. Yeah. A little weird looking, but, uh, yeah. any, any other comments? Uh, because then I want to go over a little bit of a, a schedule for us. Yeah. Uh, because I think we may need an off uh, schedule. When's our next meeting? I don't recall when, because we our schedule kind of fell apart yeah. because we were trying to coordinate it with the Board of Selectmen and then over the yeah, it's, post it's town meeting months, something we, we need to get on top of. Dates. So, yeah, so if, I could, if yeah. I could add, um, we believe that as of Wednesday morning, we will be done with all of the conditions that were required as a part of our punch list and um, would be eligible for sort of demonstrating sort of a checklist on the commission Correct. to approval, um, which we clearly would want to distribute to the board and have everybody sort of see and verify. Um, and we're ready on the administrative side to start looking in, in, through that with staff. Yes. Um, so we would anticipate sort of resubmitting something this week. The other thing that we have going on is um, the condominium sales, um, which is a big push. We just received this afternoon, actually a few minutes ago, um, our second signed purchase and sale agreement. So that's a, a big step. We have five more that are out for signature for a total of seven that have been agreed has been reserved. Um, there's been considerable back and forth on the PNSs themselves. So we think that they're mostly done and ready for signature. Um, um, so that's a big step. Um, and then we have a couple of new things that look somewhat promising, um, but you never know, you know right. new, new reservations. So um, so I guess I'm wondering people's availability for next Monday, because one of the things that is a concern with the condos as we kind of get to the end of May here is, um, you know, the chicken or the egg uh, issue with uh, um, a final CEO and uh, being able to sign up the PNSs. Uh, um, so um, it sounds like we're done with the punch list, even to the tune of the bus stop, which I, I actually didn't think was going to be um, one of the ones that we could say that. Um, and so I was hoping that Jake and staff could work on um, the checklist this week and make sure that you know staff gets comfortable that the punch list that we had left the last time is done. Certainly sounds like we're there, um, and certainly happy to help with that as well. Uh, and then uh, meet on Monday uh, because, as you know. Uh, the uh, requires us to say that the project is substantially complete before mm -hmm. um, the uh, building inspector can provide the final CO. Oh, before the building inspector. Will we have something from Mike, from the building inspector, telling us he's good with all the... No, sorry. It, sorry. We don't have to say with respect to the health and safety issues. Right. That's not, that's not in our purview. It is the other things, all of the, you know, money's paid, okay. so all we the LBA and special permit. First. No, because then we'd really be in a circle. We'd really be, you know, <laughs> yeah. oh, we're waiting for you, no, you're waiting for us, you know. What we're really telling him is that in respect of the special permit and the LBA, mm -hmm. most especially the LBA, that um, the board considers it to be substantially complete. Mm -hmm. okay. So, um, and as you recall, about uh, probably six weeks ago now, when we sat around the table, you know, we, we said that we needed to get through that punch list before we had that, before we were able to make that 
that statement as a board. So, so uh, I'm available next Monday. You are, yeah. Andrew. I am. Okay, great, perfect. Then why don't we do it? We don't think it'll be a long meeting, um, hopefully. Um, so maybe seven o'clock on mm -hmm. on Monday night. Hopefully there'll be no town meeting. I'm expecting there will be no town meeting. Um, and uh, knock on wood. And uh, we can work through it. Um, it would be very helpful uh, to make sure that you know uh, staff's okay this week. Sure, with, we should be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. with everything. We're so close. Oh, sure, close. <laughs> yeah, it's great so far. <laughs> and then we can have a vote on the new chairman at the same time after that. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you two more. <laughs> We're, we're not accepting your resignation. Yeah. <laughs> so just put that I, letter back in. Then I can't there. hang out with Jake anymore. I won't have any more time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Jake's going to be hanging out anymore. <laughs> You're not changing your phone number, huh? No. Uh, uh, well, uh, thank you. So I think we're scheduled for next Monday. Okay. If you can uh, do some hard work this week. and. Uh, We'll keep marching. Well, okay, well, thank you for your time. Good, good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Can you, can you believe we're here? Okay, let's talk in the morning. Okay. Cell phone, please. Because I have to be in it. I won't be in the office tomorrow morning, but okay. um, we can schedule it with Laura. Okay. okay. Great. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Go for lunch. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Take care. More minutes. Um, great. Uh, minutes. Okay. Let me go Minutes. This was a nice minute. They look great I to me. I like these minutes. Yeah, nice and short these, to the point. These minutes work for me. Um, I'm good. Bruce? I gotta take them under advisement. Yes. No, I'm just I'm fine. <laughs> you didn't make your way through them? I'm fine. No, I'm fine. Andrew? I'm standing. Oh, you weren't here. Sorry. Um, uh, okay. Uh, can I have a motion? I have no problem. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And one abstention. Great. What is the date of those minutes? Uh, that was the <laughs> April 28, 2014 minutes. Yeah. Do you need a copy? Uh, no, I just couldn't find them. They're all clipped together. Uh -huh. oh my. Christine? Thank you. Seconded by Bruce. Yep. Three voted in favor. Mr. Bunnell abstained. How do you say your name? Bunnell? Bunnell. But now, sorry, but now. I, I added an R. You must get that a lot, though. But now. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Are you added an R? What I added the R. Bruno. Oh, Bruno. With that R. Yeah. Bruno. I'm just getting ready for being chairman. You know. Well, so you, so you, <laughs> well, well I'd like right. it to be That's massacred like I just did, so that would be, uh, that would be uh, good for how me. How do you say your name? Have you given any more thought to a report from the board? What's that? Have you given any more thought? A report from the board. I'm hoping it's tonight. Actually, is the last night. So. Yeah, I know. I I agree with you completely. So, Although I think it would we we I know could have taken advantage of it. A we, we, we should have. To we should have uh, summarized the effort on on Sims, on Sims and to for um, town drive meeting. home that without urban renewal, you wouldn't have two parks and you wouldn't have a commercially um, a, a business com contributing to the tax base. You wouldn't have a bus stop and you probably conservation. Have you wouldn't have a conservation district and. Yeah. You would have lots more density and taller towers. Yeah, it's it's all true. So you gonna get up and say that? No, because <laughs> well, I haven't done anything. Thank we you. can just say that. Yeah. Carol could say it much better than I could. If you, if you. Carol could say it. I, you I can think, stand beside her. I think though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I kind of bandied it back and forth, and you know, I what what we should have done is is made a list of all of the. Um, all of the accomplishments of the board over the past few years and added that in there. I think, um, you know, there's several things that have gone through that have ended up being much better than they otherwise would be. Only this one used urban renewal. Yeah, that's true. So, that's true. And that's, um, it's, I, I just think it was an opportunity to try to help explain what that authority gives Arlington and that most communities don't have it. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I'm definitely not the right one to explain that, but yes, yeah. Can you get up and say something? Or is it? I could, but it would come better from the board. I'll twist his arm later. But okay. I don't know that I'll get it. <laughs> I don't know that I'll get there. It could be Wednesday. Uh, I hope it's Wednesday. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll actually be at town meeting on Wednesday. Oh, do they think they'll be done tonight? I, I think it's an outside chance. 
because mm -hmm. its budgets starting uh, at the beginning, and then we have several other articles after that. But you know, depending upon how budgets go, I don't think anything is really too controversial in there. Although you never know. I think town meeting members might be motivated to. Yeah, to the electronic clicker has been magic. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's good. Moves yeah. it along. Mm -hmm. Absolutely moves it along. Well, you don't have as many of the standing votes. Correct. Like that. that takes yeah. that takes a while, and then you know, people. Yeah, even on the voice vote, you know, there's always a few people who are, you know, uh, loud, loud. Yeah. Right. Loud. So it's, uh, it can sound very. Much it can closer. Be deceiving, yeah. Mm. And then when you actually count the votes, you go, oh, it's not, not really it's not even close. close. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, agree. so. Yes, we shall see. Um, so, um, I will um, uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Oh. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.